Yo, 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 you rocking with your boy Czar, all rights reserved. Comment their nation, greatest nation since United Nations. Now, this rumor got me saying, I am grateful for the woman that holds me down, keeps everything legit, and stays focused. A focused woman always makes a focused man. You know, a lot of times a man tries to control, tries to threaten to get the way they want, but that doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. And I'm gonna reiterate what it was I posted before. If your words ain't strong enough to sway her and show who you are, repeating yourself and demanding things is not gonna help you. It's not gonna help you. Honestly, repeating yourself and doing different things like you're doing is only gonna put you in deeper waters. Now, here's what we're talking about. Recently, I seen some receipts that are leading to the fact where pictures were shown and multiple bruises were found all over a woman named Kayla's body. Multiple bruises. Let me tell you women something right now. If a man lifts his hand to regulate, you have to question whether it's actually a male or a man. Now, I did the breakdown so many times before and that's what makes you grateful to have a wonderful, well-spoken, well-educated person that you could speak to. You see, the problem is a lot of times, a lot of the men that claim to be men try to show it in other ways than actions of actually being a man. That's when the problems begin. You see, there's a lot of problems going on that people don't know about. So who's actually the abuser? Who's actually an abusive kind of person? Now, I've read it, and one of the comments he made, this is 2015 receipts, 2015. And one of the receipts went something like this. And not quote, I paraphrase, that you're not going to like when I get it. What is someone not going to like? What are you going to do that's not likely? You see, because a lot of these guys need groups to approach in situations but they solo approach to try and make a statement to women so don't approach a woman and try and rough her up but they're not man enough to approach another man without a weapon or a group these are the simp actions that we need to get out of our society period now did he do this i don't know truth for x can tell more details because he has the receipts but off of what i see this is disturbing it is utterly disturbing and i'm gonna be honest with you if you did do this shame on you shame on you as a male shame on you as an artist shame on you as someone who's out here so i repeat allegedly ski mask is claimed to have caused bruises that we see in a picture and i did see comments he made preemptive to when the attack allegedly happened this is disturbing remember there are people who are trying to put something on x's name and my problem is if you did this you did this if you did this you did this why do guys gotta do things like this and hide it if you're going to lift a hand against a woman be proud of it say you did it you did it but guys aren't proud of being who they are so what are you proud of now you could go over to my instagram on c-z-a-r-r -R underscore all rights reserved i have a sample of the messages of what i'm speaking about and i have a copy of a sample of the bruises on her body she says when you know your art this artist for what he really is you'll know him and this makes me think a character because if you could slight a woman this way would you not slight someone to get a come up it's very disturbing to say the least and that's not good you're absolutely right not good not good at all but let me give it to you like this if you're a father a brother a cousin of someone and this is happening to him and you ain't handle that come on this is family i could not imagine a cousin or someone i love coming home and I'm around them and they got a bunch of bruises on their body. I'm just like, whatever. I could never see that. He'd have to look like you. Her body would have to look like his head. I'm telling you. I, I've never heard of it. This is a new generation. And if it's an older generation, it's a generation of simps that haven't been regulated. Why are so many men riding around putting hands on women 
like it's cool threatening to do it saying they're going to do this and that and he's he's bumping he's blasting it on a bike can you turn something else on you would get on a bike and blast this stuff where's your helmet at too what's wrong with these dudes this is how just how you hear it is how most guys ride they got a woman singing real loud in the background that's how they're built that's how they're built and i get it but these guys that are putting their hands on women shame on you and if you're not getting reprimanded for it shame on you i mean his bike's okay but it's just like come on i thought you were gonna blast something else if i was on a bike i'd be blasting some good music turn that x on turn that tintashi on why are you gonna ride around me and you're not turning that x on you see certain people get the message they turn that x on immediately one dude rode by me turning the x on immediately there wasn't no wasting time come on you gonna blast that like oh this is the jam no it's not no it's not stop it's not the jam stop so we see ski mash just drop the video the next thing we see now these receipts come out what i'm supposed to put respect on your name now how i can't help but to look at you different now now that i know that this is pending i cannot help and a lot of people are saying straight up like oh like this isn't gonna halt nothing yes it is if you actually did this to her yes it is don't try and send backdoor threats trying to message because I know you're on that tip too. I seen messages you were sending to someone I was talking to. I seen those. You need to be sorry for real for doing what you're doing. These guys try and put respect on their name because they lift hands against a woman and threaten a man. Then got to pull up with a group of guys to be cut it out. If you're old, cut it out. It's a shame. These dudes are built mad funny. That's why I'd say the bra and panties thing. Listen, if a guy nine times out of ten wants to attack you as a woman like that, he really wants to be wearing the panties in the bra. That's a fact. That's a fact. Because of how he's built. Because of how he's built. Like, I can't make that stuff up. That's how these guys move. Then they think it's authentic. It's sad. It's sad. Then they expect a woman to put up with it. Really? Really? Okay. You guys are built funny. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, really? It's ridiculous. And I do think y'all be on some strong substances when y'all be doing that. I really do. I really do. So you're saying that you did that to her, but you're going to try and back it and lie about it afterwards? why why would you lie about it afterwards what does you, what do you gain from being involved in something like this than lying the comments i see that you sent they do seem very telling it seems premeditated honestly and it's very telling and i know you like to send backdoor messages where you're like saying things to people you did it before i seen who you did it for so it doesn't shock me what shocks me is that you're at a level where you feel you have the right to do that. When you know you're doing whatever you want when you go on these tours and stuff. But you want to do this to her. You want to do this to her. Now let me ask you. Are you getting tossed around? Is that what you like? You like getting tossed around? A lot of dudes who are that weak to do it. Because I know my hands can never go on a female. It's too deadly. I couldn't. Man's hands is made for hurting men. And when you hit a female upside her head, jabbed her and stuff, tried to bust her lip, I know that if someone's trying to do that to me, when I connect with you, it's going to be a new level. Like, that's why you don't play with these clowns. You don't play. Exactly. Chris, it's exactly what you said. When you love females, you ain't going to just put your hands on them. Have I been attacked by females? Yeah. But it didn't hurt for me to have to hit them back. These guys are cowards. They're like, oh, mama told me hit them back. Like, really? You refer to your mother when you talk about hitting females back. I heard that before. If you've ever heard a, a male, because they're not a man, a male, say that, 
that's when you know you're dealing with a sideways sucker. Women, number one. That's when you know. That's the key metric that I'm dealing with a sucker. You really are. Because they want to do that, but then they don't want to take up that they did that. When men, let me tell you this, nine times out of ten, when a man shows up to regulate it, I never did that. What is she talking about? She's crazy. That's how you clowns move. I know how you move. You're, you're all spelled out the same. You're all spelled out the same. And anybody that supports you is just a bad sucker. I don't care if they hit women or not. Have you ever heard me? Let me tell you real fact. In any scenario, I took up for the fact that shouldn't happen. No woman's going to hit me or hurt me. No woman's going to hit me to hurt me. Really? If it did, you need to get your weight up. It's sad. It's a sad thing. But it's happening more than you think. Let me get a bit deeper. If Ski Mask is denying this, explain the receipts. These guys deny, deny, deny. Explain those receipts. What, you got an issue? What, because Zar's talking about this? You're like, where's the investigation? Because you're trying to dodge something? I'm trying to let them know X wasn't a sucker like this stuff. This is sucker stuff. You hitting women up. Now, I'm not saying he did it. If you did. And if it makes you mad, you must be guilty. Because you're like, I didn't touch that girl. Then why is she so adamant you did? What does she have to gain bruising herself up? You're not a number one artist. You're not a number one artist. You're not even a hit maker yet. You need hits with features. That's not a hit maker. Are you kidding me? That's not a hit maker. It's time to get the snakes off the plane. You're not a hit maker. What hit did you make? No, what hit did you make? You're buzzing off of your brethren. I repeat, you're buzzing off your brethren. Not off of work you put in. Are you kidding me? Why would a woman stick around for that? Really? Wouldn't she just find a guy that keeps his hands to himself? Wouldn't she find a guy that she can trust in? And then they're like, oh, yeah, well, she ain't never leaving stuff like You got to get rocked. That's the bottom line. It, it just happens. It's just sad most people's family won't step up. I'm telling you now. To any family, any woman, if I ever miss the guy doing that, tell me. I'll make up for lost time. If I ever missed out on a guy doing that, I'll make up for lost time. I promise that. I promise that. I don't know how these guys are moving nowadays thinking there's no repercussions. No repercussions? And you trying to knock my cousin upside her head? And you're a grown man? And if kids are involved, you find that okay? You need beat like a slave. You need beat in the words of a wise man like an old Virginia slave. That's how you need beat. Like you stole something. Like, and, and that's the thing. That's it. That's the thing you're missing. You're not missing anything else but that. Because if you had a mother that accepted you hitting women, she's just as sucker as you. I repeat, if your mother ever condoned you hitting a woman, she a sucker. Because if someone was knocking her upside her head, Y'all ought to be like, oh, don't touch my mom. Don't. Don't you want to do it to someone else's mom? This young girl could be someone's mother. And what they got to see is pictures of you beating on them. Please. And these guys think that their hands are sharp enough to deal with another man. If you're a man and, he, and you're dealing with a man that hits on women, you better, yo, lift him. Hit him with the force of a thousand men. Don't ever let someone get over on you like that. That's a fact. This woman's body was bruised all up. And I know how these suckers do it too. Let me explain something. They'll try and hit your body so they don't leave marks on the face. You coward. You God forsaken coward. And some of you probably are. Forsaken. Because you're a coward. 
always have been, always will be. I don't understand what's wrong with them. I never have to do all that to make a statement. That's what trips me out. They got to do all that to make a statement. Why would I put hands on a female? Even when they're attacking me, I could just restrain her by holding her hands and get out of there if I got to. I take a hit, I take a hit. I have before. Do you see anything different? I'm not hurt. Really? And these men are like, oh, I can handle another man. No, you can't. No, you can't. Not a real man. Not the way they're going to deal with you. You guys be suckers to the max. Like, we... we we acknowledging you as a maxed out sucker. They walk around looking hard and they do the most sucker stuff behind the scenes. And I'm using that old school rhetoric. You're defined as a sucker. I.E. Time the hill. And he knows who I'm talking to. It's time the hill. What are you talking about? You support that sucker stuff. I heard you doing that. The mogul put you up. To something to help better you. Come on. These women like a man. And never put their hand on me. Like suckers. Period. Most y'all have been that. That's what I'm saying. Like you got to stop supporting that trash. For real. Stop supporting it. Stop supporting it. No you're absolutely right. But these guys don't get turned on. They get. You're making me mad. They're getting mad. Because they're really suckers. And then when their family comes over. I don't know what happened. I didn't do nothing. That she's lying. And I'm mad at that family member. You just should have hauled off and rocked them. You don't ever take that as an answer. Not faking the funk. Where's the family at? You guys are around for every event. For every outing. For every situation. But you can't show up when these guys are doing stuff like that. If my family, you reach out to me, that's happening. I bet I'm showing up every time. Every time. And it's getting wild in there. Yeah, it reminds me of Pink Socks guy. I bet he he hit a female. Like, he probably hit her and was like, give me them socks, girl. I ain't got no socks. Put on the pink socks. Really? That's how they move. I'm telling you, yo. That's why y'all gotta be careful who y'all associate with. These people ain't built for nothing nowadays. I can't make that up. They ain't built for nothing. Hitting their wife behind the scenes. How I can't tell you how many cops I caught actually hitting their wife. Then showing up to work. Like it's it's out of hand. I don't know if this is a cultural difference. I don't know, but I learned and was taught different. Who taught y'all? That's why I'm saying a woman had to teach him something. And even then, if you didn't take that into consideration and say, eh, I'm not going to do that. You got issues. You really do. Some of y'all are built crazy. Like, I can't make it up. These dudes are built crazy, man. They're built something crazy and nothing good. Because they won't do none of that in public in front of other people. They try and do it in secret. Do it when no one's around. Do it when kids are around. Like you're just, you're straight sucker and trash. Suckatash. That's what we're going to call you, Suckatash. What he's talking about. I don't know if he did it, but I'm just giving him hints and understanding that you did that in that situation and got away with it. If somebody really loves their family, they're not going to care. They're going to say, okay, even if they let you slide that moment, you know never to go around them again. You know that much. You ain't just going to be walking around me like the man, yeah. When you hit a female, dog, you ain't going to walk around me like you the man when I know you just hit on females. I don't care how strong. I know dudes who are brawling. Nah, I seen them. They don't even, the ones I know don't do that. They're like, I'm too strong for that. Why would I do that? These dudes hit a woman like I monitor my strength. Okay. As a dude, you should be looking to dismantle him. Dismantle him. 
and cook you in my stew. Real talk. I drag you home, cook you in my stew. Think Zara, all right? Think I'm not strong enough. I will turn you into food literally and say I was hungry. I was thirsty. Save them for later. They don't know nothing about that. These, like the way some of these young boys move, you're sickening. All you got to do is do it with the right person around, with the right person looking for the opportunity. Every man, you should look for an opportunity when abuse is happening. That's how you go to, that's how you sharpen your sword. A dude beating a woman, you should run down just, just for fun. You should run down for fun on him. Really? We, ain't, we are not letting y'all get room to breathe. And if she says leave her alone, leave her alone. They got to keep saying things like, oh, I need to check you. Here's the thing. Let me tell you something about an individual that wants to check you. And see, I'm so nice with it. I'm reading how these guys actually move. I don't got to try. I know. I'm the czar. Trying to check something. I tell you what. God rest her soul. My mother isn't here. And I, my father's built way different than most of these dudes. Most of these dudes. But if there was ever another man in my mother's life. And they were doing something to attack. I don't care the age. The things I would do to you. You would think a nightmare is occurring. You would be like, this is a nightmare. And in order to say that, most of these guys need weapons. I don't need either. I don't need any of it. That's your mother. Someone beating on your mother, how would you feel? This girl had bruises all over her body. How'd she get them? Is she lying? I'm not saying she couldn't lie. Is she lying? If she's lying, shame on her. She should literally be arrested for lying. But if you're lying, shame on you. Shame on your manhood. If you're lying, shame on your manhood. I don't care how hard you look, how hard you act. Shame on your manhood. Pack it up. Tuck your nuts. Tuck them. Don't come around me with them out. Tuck them. That's where we're at right now. Tuck them underneath. Don't come with them hanging around. Tuck them. That's how you should treat these suckers. Tuck it. You better be tucked. Every time I see you, they're, they're not tucked under. We're warned. Every time. That's how you should think. They come around, you tuck it. Like a chain. You tuck it in. Don't come around me hanging it out. Tuck it in. Because y'all be built something funny, man. These guys be built something funny for real, for real. For real, for real. Not even a little bit. Extra funny. Let me tell you why, women. Let me tell you why. I didn't go into detail. The reason they do this, because in actuality, they really want to be wearing the panties and bra. I'm so serious. It sounds crazy. But I promise you everything I say is the truth. If you do some in-depth looking, they really want to wear the panties and the bra. Why? Because being a man considers them to have to do things men do, which is work hard, which is take care of business, which is not be lazy, not be a slob. And that's everything they want to be. That's a fact. How can I put this? If you did it, tuck your manhood. Don't walk around like you're the man. I don't care what stage you step on. I don't care what, how good your two-step is. I don't care how good your two-step is. Don't come around here acting like you're the man. And you couldn't do it without five or six other guys. Yo, you see how I'm by myself? They could never do that. They could never do that. Walk around alone without a bunch of people. They can't do that. You can't. 
Your conscience won't let you be that stupid. No one respects you that much. Now, in your specific case, I know to the level there's no respect. So let's not even go there. You and I both know. They were trying to dismantle you. I don't know what it was from. I don't think it was from this case. That was 2015. But they were trying to play with you. And still, I don't think you're goody. I don't think you're good. Because I know they're not rocking with you a certain way. I can say that much. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of this. I don't know if it's because of something else. And at first, I was like, that's not right. But the, if this is true, now I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. They, they were like, this guy's a sucker, yo. We got we to gotta teach him something. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. Let me add something else. I only seen two people in this series do very sucker things involving a woman. And it wasn't X at all. But I'll also add this. You do know the universe gives back what you put out. And because you did that, that's why that situation happened to you. That's why that happened. Because what you did was you brought that energy of abusing the weak and innocent getting over on someone and it was allowed to come back that way you you walked into a surprise and was like ah. that's how it worked i know how it went down i will tell you i don't know who was on the right side of you i know who was on the left that's crazy i don't know who was on the right side I can assume, but I can assume if it was him, he had a reason. And it's probably something else that is worse than what it is we're talking about here. And you demand respect. Oh, you demand it. They better respect me. When you don't care about no one else but yourself. When you don't care... I seen that girl's pictures. I want, listen, everybody that hates me right now, I want you to think, all of you that hate me, be objective. If this girl was your family, what would you do if she came home beat up like that? All of you right now. If you're real right now, what would you do if your family came home like that, what would you do? No, you guys are so real, so authentic. What are you going to do if your family came home bruised up all over their body? What would you do if your daughter came home bruised up all over her body? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nah, you're condoning it. You're saying, oh, that's cool. What would you do then? You condone it. What would you do then? What's wrong with these guys? I know they're sitting there like, oh, I would, I would do this. I would do that. Then be objective. Stop being a sucker. Be objective. If you do that for your daughter, for your mother, for your cousin, think it for everyone. Act accordingly. What's wrong with these guys? That's what makes me so mad. You could see it from your perspective, but you can't see it from mine. Even though you know what I'm saying is absolutely true. Matter of fact, most of you who's agreeing with it, you would be the first. Let you find that person. Even the cops here watching. What would you do, dummy? Oh, I'm the law. Mr. I'm the law, what would you do if your daughter came home bruised up? Are you going to be an officer then? No. You're taking that badge off. You're walking out that door. And you're moving like the Terminator. Say I'm lying. Tell me right now. Tell me I'm lying. You can't. You can't. You're moving like the Terminator. Would you be with the law? You won't even acknowledge the law. 
you'll be like, no, he didn't do that to my baby. You're flying out the door. Matter of fact, some of you cops might turn into Superman. I wouldn't be surprised if one of you started flying. That's how mad you were. What is he talking about? Like some of y'all just act irrealistic. Like you don't act off emotion. And like these suckers who move off of emotions of anger to deal with a female don't need handled. Stop acting stupid. Like if someone ran up in your house beating on your wife, you wouldn't go out for blood. Really? Yo, that's what makes me so angry. They get it from their perspective, but looking at someone else's, they don't understand. Oh, we don't get it. Oh, we can't do this. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, we're not going to do that. Oh, we don't do that. Oh, that's not, that's not a serious crime until something. Oh, we don't have proof. He says he didn't do it. Well, obviously, if a woman's saying, hey, this guy knocked me on my head, does race matter then? Or do you figure out if it really happened? Do you actually care enough? And anybody that would lie for a sucker like that, you need to get it first. I'm sorry, if you would lie to protect that sucker behavior, you need to handle first. This is the generation we're living in, but this is not the generation we have to live by. You get me? Don't let that go over your dome. If this is the generation we're living in, that doesn't mean this is the generation we gotta live by. That's the problem. You guys wanna be hip, cool? Oh, I uppercut this female. Oh, I, I beat her ribs in. When every dude knows if that was your mother or someone you love, that person might as well kiss their butt goodbye. That's how you feel. Tell me I'm lying. So I'm teaching you not to play with it up front. And if you're a sucker that did that, your time's coming. Your time's coming. Even if you don't see it yet, your time is coming. I promise you. If I never made a sincere promise to you, I could promise that. Your time's coming. Oh, it's only a matter of time. But your time's coming. Understand that. And when you see him, you make him do a split. See, I'm not even going to go into details. We make people dance. I'm sorry. We got to make you dance. Because you're, you're not, you have no respect. You could see protecting your mother, protecting your wife, but you want to beat your girlfriend, beat this woman. Like, you got to get folded like a book. Be insane. And then tap dance on. Like, I don't know where these guys get the heart from. You want to know what they get it from? Let me explain to you, to the women so you get this. Here's where a man like that, male like that gets heart from. He watches how other men around him act and he inherits that. Because they do it out of ignorance. He's doing it because he's a copycat. Yeah, I, I had to knock her in her head because she wasn't putting respect on me. When you know you ain't handling business, you ain't built that way. You're a soft sucker. You're a panty and brawl thief. To wear it for yourself. Have the lingerie on. See, I gotta do you like it's on prison time. You better have the lingerie on. If you don't wear that lingerie, you getting beat again. Put your lingerie on. What's wrong with these suckers? I understand when they're saying, it's not I wanna see them in lingerie. Wear and show what you truly are. Stop playing a certain way. What's wrong with them? That's the thing. You can show what I did. And I said I did that. Was there anything that she showed I said I didn't do? I did that. You just showed personal information that I think wasn't allowed. Said names and stuff that I don't think you should have said. But I did that. Yeah. And? You ain't see no dis domestic dispute on it. You ain't see I did something to a woman. Oh, he he threatened a child. I ain't have to hide when the cops came around. I ain't never ran from a cop. Are you kidding me? What is he talking about? You guys are just built all different. And it's sickening. 
Because you're supposed to raise a man. You're supposed to raise a man. What are they doing? Now ask them. Ski mask the slump guy. Did you do this or not? Did you do it or not? The messages are right there. They're over here calling X an abuser. Did you do it or not? You were all extra quiet. When this case began, you weren't saying nothing. I seen the messages you were sending to people, but you couldn't speak up to say nothing. What event did you show up to? Yeah, now we're talking about logistics. Because I've been watching you since the case began. We've been watching you. I can't say I. Sorry to the agents. Not I. We have been watching you. What'd you do? What type of respect did you put on X's name other than saying, happy birthday, bro, you're gone, and putting a picture up for media attraction? What did you do? Is that why they're not rocking with you? See, that, that's get sick. And I know he rocked with you in the past before he was nothing. When he was nothing, you were the right hand man. And you ain't said nothing about this case yet. You were the right hand man, period. You ain't speak up yet. All these comedians saying stuff, all these people saying stuff, all these people dissing him, dissing him. If, if that was my homie, I would have been the first one on the page. But you can't even speak up. Why are you so quiet? Why are you so quiet? I don't understand that. Now I don't understand. Because I'm looking at these pictures and I see you're denying this. And I'm like, I'm seeing your messages in 2015. They're so public. They're almost telling. Except the fact to say, I did it. So I'm asking, did you do it? Okay, he called out the comedian. What did he say? He just called her out? Well, ask me what I did. You you only called out the comedian, right? So you called out just Dino. What about the people supporting her? Did you call them out? What about the people laughing, justifying it, saying it was funny? Did you say anything to them? You didn't you did you say a word? What? You just said something to Dina Hashem. Oh, that's good enough. I said something to her. Stop faking the funk. Czar said something to everyone. And I challenged them to a comedy standoff. I challenged them to a comedy standoff if they got a problem. As I joked on them on their page. Everybody got it. Everybody got it. I went for everyone who condoned it, everyone who said it, the fake Jim Carrey joke type of guy who's who's making the noises on stage, he's trash. Went at him, went at another comedian who don't even got his face up. Everybody who went sideways, oh, let's ask him. Ski, let's ask him. Would you, they told me to ask you, I'm gonna ask you. Would you say to Kid Ink when he called your boy sideways? What'd you say to Kid Ink? You ain't have no words for him, did you? Did you? Were you scared? You said nothing to him. What did you say to Kid Ink? Yeah, exactly. A clown? Comedian? What's the difference most times? There are great comedians, but most of these comedians nowadays are clowns. What'd you say to Kid Ink? You didn't say nothing. He walked, he wiped his butt with your career. He joked on your mans, wiped your butt, wiped, took your career and was like, I'll wipe. He ain't, he don't want no. He tossed you to the side. You ain't say nothing. You ain't say nothing. And he came at him right before his birthday. And I know you saw it, it was everywhere. Don't say, oh, I missed that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't miss it. Now, would it be messed up if, if, is if I show who you follow? So don't say that. Yes, I already know, dummy. Stop. 
What's making me most mad You have everyone calling X an abuser But if you're actually doing it Why is everybody coming at him? I don't get that You have everybody News stations, magazines DJ Sunny Side Up The trash DJ That trash DJ I think DJ Sunny, whatever she tries to call herself. And you ain't saying nothing. You are radio silent, saying nothing. You haven't even hinted at hating what they're saying. And I'm supposed to put respect on you when you're not holding down your main man who you're putting photos up with, who you're posing with. What's the problem? He apologized to you. He put respect on your name, the last thing he probably even did. And you can't speak up to these guys? You can't say two words to them. You see, I get you guys are mentioning, but remember, he's an actress, an adult film star. Some of those things could be acted out. It's hard to prove what's acted out or not. And I can tell you, in the industry he works with, those girls sign a contract to do it. But this girl was up there saying, wait till I show y'all about y'all favorite rapper. Bad publicity. Talking about how she's hurt, bruises all over her. This was 2015. I Listen, I know you guys want to blame him, but it is a man's decision to do certain things. We can't blame everybody else. I have a question. Just because you know your homie knows how to take a smash, he could take a dump. Does that mean that's how I should learn to take a dump? You cannot blame everybody else for someone's personal decision. You can't. That's not fair all the time. It's not fair for me to say he's doing it because of him. He did it because he wanted to if he did it. What she's alleging he did. He wasn't there to tell him, oh, hit her like this, do this. Even if he did, he didn't tell him to do it to that girl. He chose to. I've seen his messages. He chose to do that if he did that. We don't know of anybody teaching anybody anything. We don't know about that. That's his situation. That has nothing to do with Ski. This is Ski's situation. That's the only thing I can reference because the messages are everywhere and they're crazy. Yo, I read all of them. It is crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Even if he was in his video, Sucker moves. Sucker moves. Sucker moves. Sucker moves. Listen, if another dude close to your age had to be a father figure, I'm sorry, but that's just garbage. If you if you could not discern between right and wrong, I can't give a pass on that. You're old enough to know how to count your money. Nobody got to tell you how to screw something. So why should I have to tell you how to behave? You can't attribute that strictly to somebody. He has to make an adult decision at some time. Well, let me tell you all about manhood. In manhood, there's decisions that are made. If you make a decision to harm someone, you make a decision to do it. You can't blame everybody. Now, when these guys are riding in groups to do it, maybe. But you can't blame him solely for the reason. I can't say that guy's specifically possible because that guy chose to rob the store. So what you're saying is he idolizes him. Now, if he did that because he idolizes him, 
He's a terrible person. They're bad all the way around. They're bad all the way around. It's sad. Hey, that's funny style. I'm sorry. I never felt the need to have to. My words are strong enough to get a message across. I ain't never got to do none of that sucker stuff. My words are strong enough for me to speak how I feel. I never have to do any of that sucker stuff. And I never put respect on anybody doing that. I can't. I can't. I could never do that. That's just too crazy. I can never do that. I can never do what these suckers do, man. I could never. I could never do what these suckers do. I don't care how rough it is. I got to stay real to myself. I could never move like these suckers. If they think that's cool and a woman's still going to hang around them, that's sad. You guys got to get your weight up. You guys got to get your mind right. Still blaming it on mama. Still blaming it on my homie. Still blaming it on that person. Stop. Did you do it or did you not? Did you do it or did you not? Period. Yeah. I can tell there's a lot of people's booties getting tossed. Because again, we have video of somebody who does that type of stuff. Your booty's getting tossed, my dude. Like your booty was getting tossed. Like we got that. And I told you we got it. I didn't even hide it. I was like, we got that. So I ain't even trying to go there. Like you were getting tossed. I, I, you know what? I get why you're mad. They were going in on that butt. <laughs> According to who watched it, you know, Czar said, oh man, I had someone else confirm it. They were like, I almost threw up just when I saw the intro. I was like, ugh, ugh. that's how Czar was. That's a fact. I can't make that up. We've been told you. I had some of my agents watch it. You made a female agent throw up. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. No. No. No, not good, not good, no, man, oh my gosh, like if you guys seen it, you would have threw up everywhere, you'd be like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting sick right now, oh, I'm done for the day. I'm done for today. Uh, I'm done for today. Like I'm finished. If if you're doing that, stop doing sucker moves. And if your family and they're doing that, stop letting those suckers get away with it. Handle that. Stop letting suckers get away with doing that to people that you quote unquote love. Stop. Sometimes you gotta step in and let them know touch my family because they'll be the first to try and step up for their family, but they're doing it somewhere else. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, man, we'll talk about that another time. He's not important here. What I find disturbing is these Twitter messages I have arranged perfectly to show a discussion that you had with this young lady. You know, it's premeditated, right? Like, why do these guys do stuff like that and act like it's not a crime? It's premeditated. Like, they're dumb. Like, who taught you how to do crime? Like, and this is a crime you shouldn't do, but who taught you how to do crime? Why would you do that? When they need three guys, two guys, if you're not doing it alone, I can't even put respect on your name. 
If you ain't doing your crime alone, I can never respect you. I can. Because you go against the one solo rule of doing it. Move alone. Move solo dolo. Y'all ain't never heard that before? Oh, my gosh. Oh, they're still thinking I need two or three guys to do it. I need my best partner to move with me. Okay. Okay. They're, they're still stuck on that. Let them think that. That's why <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing. Listen, they on them. They are on them. And I ain't saying who. You got special force. Now, you heard Czar for a call a lot. You think special forces haven't been watching you? They're sitting down in the cut doing a dance because they're just building evidence so you'll never get out. These guys that think they're untouchable, they want to make sure you never leave a cell when they put you in. So what do you think's happening? Oh, I got it. Guys, I know what's happening. Here's what they think. They think because I know someone on the inside, I'm going to get away with everything. Wrong. You see, I was the one that broke the mold. I made everyone react that should naturally have not react. But because they reacted, they've been gathering information since last year. They've been watching you since last year. The judge and the investigator watch. You think the special forces weren't watching you? Oh, you're, uh, I'm done telling them. Look, they got all their hints. F them. F them. Because you're actually doing crime. So F you. I don't have to help you out none. I'm done. Let them ride around invincible. I bet. Yo, let me bet y'all something. I bet they don't move like us. I bet when those cops run down, you act like the perfect person. I bet when those cops run down, you're scared. You act like the perfect person. You don't move nothing like we do. I bet you act like the perfect person. You want to hurt a civilian? I bet when those cops run down, you don't do nothing. Facts. You won't do a thing. The cops run down, you're just going to go, yes, sir, and bend over the desk. I bet you do that. I bet money you do it. You scared to, you scared to get it in with people who actually are there to get it in with. The cops run down, you ain't going to say nothing, you ain't going to do nothing, you ain't going to make no decision, you ain't going to act different, you're just going to do what they tell you to do. I bet money you do that. Me and them got a good bet. I said, I bet money they won't put no force up against you. I bet money they just come in quietly and then try and say, I want my lawyer, but it's too late. Special forces got your number. Are you dumb? I ain't, listen, I told them what to do since the jump and they're still moving stupid. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Sometimes people have abilities you would not believe. I know your magic. I know your quotes. I know the book you get it from. I told you all this. But I also told you one thing. You didn't read the consequences for using it. They want you to think it's sweet. They want you to think everything's good. You're fine. You're not in trouble. Because the evidence they have, it's mounting. The same way, why you think the case keeps getting held off? I'm done talking. It, stuff is too obvious now. But did he really do this? Did he really do this? Did he really do this? The receipts are everywhere, dude. Read them. Did you read what you were saying? Reread what you were saying, please. Please reread what you were saying in them. That's what they're looking at. And I'm telling you now, you seen one person get a hold of them. Wait till the T pages start getting a hold of them. Like the T pages are wrath for the internet. They are not going to hold back. Oh my gosh. The greatest nation is United Nations. Your favorite rapper's time. Your favorite movie star's time. Your favorites, favorites, 
favorite time, your favorite mogul's time, your favorite celebrity's time. You know how I rock. All rights reserved. One word.